when I get finished with the flight, I can go into my telemetry logs and I'm going to create a log from today's flight. Here's the progress bar going across. And I'm creating a KML log. And what a KML log is for, it's for use on Google Earth. And there it's finished creating the log, so I can exit that software. Now we have this log. Here it is. This is the KMZ file that was created. Double click it or drag and drop it onto Google Earth. <clears throat> and this was the flights that I took at the park today. And there they are. And if you know how to use Google Earth very well, whoops which I obviously don't. You can rotate it, zoom in, you can change your orientation for level, you can even run all of this back and replay. The first flight was a aborted flight out and came back, scared the daylights out of me. Next flight goes for this corner of the field and comes back. Then the third flight was the three loops, the two loops, straight up from there. So, that's another fun feature of the mission planning software. You can even watch the flights go backwards. In addition, you can come over here on the left and click and you can still see where the computer while it was in stabilized mode that path is in red return to launch orange altitude hold is in purple uh, let me stop that playing that back and forth there we go and so you can go in here and turn parts of these on and off to view different parts. I'm not going to get deep into those because most people don't use Google Earth that well anyway. <laughs> Have a good one.